is Chris Lorenzana. I'm the Chief Inspiration Officer of Training Edge. I'm a life coach. I have a radio show called Winner Ka Pinoy, and I am a wellness advocate. I'm a partner of Feel Care. Buddha says, you, yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your own love. And that is what I am here to talk to you about today, that you deserve your own love. And as we design a beautiful 2024, as you are the architect of your wonderful, fantastic 2024, I hope that you include in that beautiful journey, embracing self-love without guilt, without hesitation, without the thinking that, oh, you know, if I put myself first, I may not have enough energy for the people who matter most to me. You matter most to you as well. And every time we are on a flight and um, pre-flight instructions come on and we watch this uh, flight attendant show us that, oh, if there's going to be any turbulence and oxygen masks fall. And if you are with a child, remember to put your mask on first before you put that on your child, before you put one for your child. Maybe this year, we can say no with confidence to those things that, do no, that no longer serve us. We can say no with confidence to relationships that no longer nourish us. Maybe this 2024, we can appreciate ourselves better. We could appreciate even our effort to get it through the day. Minsan mahirap talaga ang buhay, di ba? But just to go through the day deserves your appreciation. Tend to your inner landscape. Napakahalaga talaga niyan. Your inner landscape matters. Pag magulo ang um, kalooban, di ba? If your inner landscape is all chaotic, it's as if you're wearing a dark lens. It's as if the world is dark, pero hindi naman talaga. So kahit na maaraw, if you're wearing a dark lens, it's as if, oh, the world is an ugly place. It's a bitter place. I just have a lot of things in my mind. I'm just so unhappy. This is so depressing. But just by changing the lens. And how do we change the lens? We change the lens by, well, of course, taking it off and uh, replacing it with more empowering thoughts. Like, I do appreciate myself. I deserve my own love. There's no one else like me in the entire universe. No one else has my voice. No one else has whatever it is that I can contribute. So if we have that mindset, appreciative of who we are, Deserving of our own love. Kung mga sasakyan nga natin, di ba, we put on uh, premium fuel, right? If we have appliances, we take care of them, we maintain them. Oh, tayo pa kaya? And so, this 2024, let's be very intentional in feeding our minds with positive, inspiring thoughts, feeding our bodies with nutritious food, sleeping enough, drinking enough, moving enough. Be in um, nourishing relationships. Hold me close and hold me fast. This magic spell you cast. I see la vie en rose. I see la vie en rose. So just by appreciating ourselves and loving ourselves more, loving ourselves better, we get to change the lens with which to see our world. We... Uh, Tend to the inner landscape. Tanggalin na natin doon yung hindi natin kailangan. Di ba? Like when you have a garden, you pull out the weeds. The weeds of resentment, the weeds of negativity, the weeds of uh, uh, lack of forgiveness, the weeds of guilt, the weeds of shame. We don't really need them this 2024. And as we celebrate the month of love, <laughs> let's also celebrate who we are. Celebrate you because love is who you are. Love is who you are. Kung babalik-balikan mo, what makes you the best you, the best version of you, it's really because you can love. And when you love, you're just really so amazing. You know, I always uh, end my radio show before with that love has many, many faces and yours. Yours, my friend, is one of them.
And so as you go through this beautiful month, celebrating love, celebrating the people who really complete your joy, I hope that you will also celebrate how much you can love, how much you have loved. And uh, really embrace the fact that, oh, I deserve my own love. You know, people who are not able to love themselves enough are people who are so self-critical. Lagi na lang may mali sa sarili nila. Kahit na maganda na yung ginawa nila, kulang pa rin to. Kahit na, you know, ibinigay na nila yung kanila 100%, I could have given more. You know, they can be so self-critical, they can be such perfectionists, and they always compare themselves with others. Let us not be that this 2024. As we embrace self-love, let us remember that who we are, who you are, matters. You matter. In fact, you matter first. Wala kang maibibigay na pagmamahal sa iba kung empty din yung, yung sarili mong tiyatawag nilang love tank. Diba? And so, I hope that uh, as you embrace loving yourself more, diba? you remember that, oh, there are just a lot of things I can appreciate about myself worthy of my own love. Learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all, sabi nga ni Whitney Houston. And so, this month of February, I wish for you a wonderful celebration of the month of love. I wish for you more intentional days of self-care, of you prioritizing yourself, putting yourself on top of your schedule. And I hope that you will always remember who you are that you are love, that you are love, and that love always wins. Love always wins.